Good afternoon. Welcome to the Alderson Broadus University Men's Lacrosse Media Day. Uh, here today with head coach Bob Bennett on the far left. Moving from left to right, senior John Grady, sophomore Joe Ravenel, and on the far right, that's redshirt freshman Jay Kuhn. Thank you all for your time this afternoon. Let's begin, coach, with an easy question. After seeing the team take the field for practice during the preseason, how do you think the team looks heading into its first weekend of competition here in 2014? Well, we're still young, but we're improving every day. We had a good scrimmage yesterday. A um, lot of good things happening. Uh, we need to uh, continue to improve and uh, mature a little bit. Uh, though we will still be young, young teams can win. Coach, what's the biggest difference between this year's team and last year's squad? Well, I think it's a better group of guys. I, I think that it's uh, the maturing of the guys that came back and the group that came in uh, this year. Uh, it's a more fun team to be around. Uh, we communicate better. We're playing better lacrosse. Can you talk about some of the strengths of this year's team heading into the season, as well as some areas you know the team will have to work on as the year progresses? Well, you know, I think the strength is is that we're pretty balanced. Um, we uh, have strength throughout the roster, but we're a little thin. So we need to play in a way that uh, economizes on the effort uh, required. Uh, and we need to mature the players that are, you know, down the depth chart and get them up to speed quickly. Uh, are there any first-year players that fans should watch out for or newcomers? Yeah, I, two of the three guys in this room are, are, are players that we should be looking to see do great things in this season. Uh, Joe is an attackman, uh, a very solid player, uh, played on Long Island, um, and I'm looking forward to seeing him play almost every minute of our season. Uh, Jay uh, from Baltimore, we like big goaltenders here. He's a big guy with quick hands, um, good communicator. And uh, actually, even though he's carrying that red shirt freshman, he adds maturity to this team. So very solid player that we should expect great things from. Coach, who do you think is the sleeper team in the ECAC this season? Well, you know, I think it's us. I mean, we were picked eighth. I don't have us eighth in my mind. Uh, we have to prove that on the field. Um, when this comes together, we're going to be very good. Uh, we're not there yet. Four of the eight teams in the ECAC will qualify for the postseason tournament this season. What will the battlers need to do to be one of those qualifying four? Well, you know, it's a fairly straightforward formula. You need to beat the uh, second division teams, of which we're one, and you need to pick off one of the top teams. So. Um, but we, we are very excited that we have an entree to the ECAC tournament if we play well. And we know that we play in the power conference of D2 lacrosse, so uh, we're working hard to get uh, good. Um, we, uh, we have it as a stretch goal to make that tournament. Which game are you most looking forward to this season, Coach? And uh, is there any specific game that maybe you've scheduled or a circle on your schedule? Well, the ECAC opponents, we're looking forward to playing all of them. We have great relationships with those teams. Uh, we had good uh, spirited contests last year. Uh, we're looking forward to different results, but uh, uh, it's a great conference, so we're looking forward to all those. Uh, as to focus and circle to my schedule, it's always the next game, and our first game is, against, is an out-of-conference game against Mercy. The Battlers, of course, host Mercyhurst, Post, Seton Hill, Young Harris, and Walsh at home this season at the finished multi-sport performance stadium. Uh, Coach, do you have any other thoughts on how the Battlers or the ECAC as a conference will fare for the 2014 season? Well, you know, I, the conference uh, will fare uh, very well. I mean, it's, it's a power conference, as I've said. Um, you know, I expect to see the NCAA tournament filled with ECA school, ECAC schools. Let's move on to uh, senior John Grady. Uh, John, talk to us about what it's like to uh, come back for your second season with the Battlers and have an opportunity to play in the finished multi-sport performance stadium. Oh, we're excited. It, the stadium itself is beautiful. Uh, we got to watch it come up around us last year and we can't wait to, uh, to open up our home season with a new locker room, brand new stadium, and tons of fans. John, one more question. Another season under your belt in the blue and gold Talk to us about what's different about this team compared to last year's squad. Well, I think the biggest thing is experience. Uh, we, we have a year under our belt playing collegiate lacrosse. Uh, we come back more comfortable with our systems. And then we've got a bunch of great new guys. 
uh, that are injecting some intensity into practice and making it real fun. Two of those great new guys are just to your left, and Joe Ravenel and Jay Kuhn. Joe, uh, as a sophomore attackman on this team, the Battlers last year had some issues uh, putting some points on the board. What are you going to bring to the team to help turn the tables on that script? Uh, well, hopefully more points. <laughs> That'd be nice. But uh, a more controlled, uh, precise offense and getting everybody involved and making sure that, you know, it's a good team environment, everyone's having fun, but at the end of the day, we're still doing our job and put more points on the board than we did last year. This is your first season with the Battler offense, Joe, but can you talk to us about the kind of offense the Battlers will run? Uh, it's a very, we try to have a very precise offense. Like, our system is one where if you don't know our systems, you're not going to understand our systems. And we take a pride in that. So, you know, there's a lot of studying, like going over our plays and our sets and everything. And we try to make sure everybody's up to speed. And I think we're going to do good this year. And that's one thing Coach Bob Bennett has prided himself on is bringing in uh, very intelligent uh, athletes as well as uh, physically uh, skilled athletes. And so we'll move over to a physically skilled athlete and Jay Kuhn, uh, one of those big bodied goaltenders that Coach Bennett likes. Uh, Jay, can you talk to us about what it'll be like for your first season in goal with the Battlers and what you're bringing to the field of play? Um, I, I'm very excited about this season. Uh, I look forward. We've got a great group of guys on defense, um, starting with our defensive middies to our defense, even if we get caught with offensive middies on defense. you know, I, I feel uh, very confident in them. Um, as with me, I think my best asset is definitely communication, like Coach Bennett uh, touched on. I think as a goalie, you know, you have to direct all the traffic uh, back there. It gets hectic at times, but, you know, it's it's our jobs to sort everybody out and make sure everybody's on the same page. So that's what I'm going to try to do. The ECAC boasts some very powerful offensive units. What Which team or teams are you looking forward to face this year? Honestly, all of them. I mean, every, every day is a new challenge. Every game is a different challenge. Um, everybody tries to do something different. So I think with our defense, that will probably be uh, a, a very big challenge, but something that we're willing to step up to. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for their time again today and taking part in this Media Day event. Uh, from left to right, head coach Bob Bennett, senior John Grady, sophomore Joe Ravenel, and of course, redshirt freshman Jay Kuhn. Thank you all for your time and good luck this season. Thanks, Andrew. Thank